All right, in the last video, I showed you how to make your own custom boot ups and custom um, backgrounds. But as you'll see, that still does add quite a bit of time to the actual startup of the thing. You have to wait for the thing to come up, and it has to stay up there for a few seconds, and then it'll actually load your thing. So, um, yeah, there's actually a way that you can actually disable the boot up screen altogether, and that will make it so you can definitely start up quite a bit faster. So, in order to do that, you just have to go to miscellaneous, and then it'll say um, boot up screen. Just simply switch that off. And make sure you save your settings again. I you know I forgot to say that in another video. Save settings. And I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. Off and on. Powering it up. And there we go. I don't know how much faster that was, but it definitely feels faster than me. Um, although it does make it so you're just staring at a black screen for a little bit longer. All right, and the other thing I want to show you is the different things for sleep mode. I, in my review, I talked about um, sleep mode by holding this button and pressing R, the brightness button. But there's also an automatic sleep mode. If you go down to miscellaneous, you can set the auto sleep down sleep mode countdown. This will work if you're in a backed up game or if you're in a cartridge game. So you can make it so I set it at 10 minutes. I don't want it going off normally, but you can set it as low as five seconds. If you won't play the game for five seconds, it will go to sleep. So just to show you that, I'm going to save the settings. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And we're going to put in Final Fantasy VI. Start it up. And we have five seconds. Oh, you have to hold the button for a few seconds. All right. Make sure we can get past the boot up. I'm pushing all the buttons so we don't get auto sleeped. And the brightness is all over the place. And as you can see, it automatically went to sleep because it's been three seconds since our last button press. So if you really, really want to save battery life and you know you're going to be pushing buttons every second, you can do three seconds. Now, I definitely suggest you choose at least five minutes. I choose ten minutes because, I mean, I could just be watching like a cutscene or something in the game and I don't want it just cutting off. So, all right, just to show you again, nothing being pressed and it's off. It's in sleep mode. Just push any button and it'll take you back to sleep mode. Um, again, you can't use this shortcut here since you're in a cartridge game. So if you actually want to change it back, you actually have to close this completely. Pop back in your K card. And then you can go back to access the settings menu. Oops, I was pushing the wrong button. All right. Boot it up. And option. Miscellaneous. Auto sleep. And you can also turn off the GBA splash screen if you want, but I like the little GBA thing coming up every single time I start a game. I think that's pretty cool. And it turned off. <laughs> All right, so set it to 10 minutes, back out, save settings, press B to return, and you're done. Now it won't turn off every five sec or three seconds anymore. And yet if you're in a cartridge game and you just leave your GBA alone, it will actually turn off the screen to save battery power. So another really, really nice feature. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this video. Alright, uh, I think that's the last one unless they have anything else they want to tell me. So, or, if, yeah. I think that's the last one unless there's uh, any other major features that uh, need to be explained or whatever. They'll let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.